It was Sunday evening. The disciples were together with the doors locked. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the room and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Thomas, one of Jesus' twelve disciples, was not there that evening. Later, the disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe it. A week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Over the next 40 days, the Lord would abruptly appear to his followers, talk with them, and then disappear. Jesus' resurrected body could go through walls and travel at the speed of thought. While he is the first to have such a body, he will not be the last. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly man, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly man. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. Do you understand that you are a helpless sinner with no way to earn the right to live in God's kingdom? Do you believe the Lord Jesus Christ died in your place for your sins and came back to life defeating death for you? If so, then God says you are no longer in Adam. God sees you as righteous in Christ. One day, you too will receive a transformed body just like his, but without the nail scars.